It is Saturday, January 5th. Good morning, everyone. I'm Randy Kay. I'm Victor Black. Well, it's good to be with you. Good to be with you. We haven't been in these uh, seats together no, for some time. No, it has been a little bit. Yes, but it's good <laughs> to be back. Hey, we're going to start this morning uh, with breaking news. This is CNN Breaking News. A tsunami warning is in effect after a massive 7.5 magnitude earthquake hit off the southern coast of Alaska. Happened around 4 a.m. Eastern this morning. Officials urge anyone in the warning area to move inland and find higher ground. Uh, joining me on the phone this morning is geophysicist Randy Baldwin from the National Earthquake Information Center. Uh, Randy, first, give us the information about this, this tsunami. The West Coast and Alaska tsunami warning uh, said that the warning center said that this tsunami could come with significant widespread inundation of land that's expected. Can you quantify this? Give us some numbers. Well, there has been a, a recent update of that advisory, and, and uh, the last that I heard was that the the uh, warnings have been canceled. So the warnings. And there, there was a small local wave that was generated, uh, approximately a six inch wave that was generated within that regional area, and that was uh, measured at Port Alexander. So that six inch wave, is that going to be the worst that this area, British Columbia, this island, uh, area of Craig in uh, the state of Alaska, is that the worst that they can expect? Well, that was the information that was provided by the warning center. So if you need additional information, you know, go to the website tsunami.gov and they issue additional information as they receive it. Any information about damage as a result of this earthquake? No, no reports of damage uh, due probably to its remoteness. It's, uh, it's located about 60 miles offshore from southeastern Alaska, so it's out in the ocean and uh, we haven't had any reports of damage it was felt um, throughout the region uh, mostly at Juneau which is a couple of hundred miles or so to the north so this area we're talking about not a lot of people live there that's correct yes okay Randy Baldwin with the National Earthquake Information Center thank you for that update good news uh, that this is not going to be as uh, devastating of a situation as first thought.